Uh, so basically some random it is probably what uh, you could use to force it to DFU mode uh, a little further up we have AP to BT wake that is basically uh, the CPU and a Bluetooth communication line um, so that's all here in this corner so if we just keep going down the line we'll find um, you know WLAN, that's uh, Wi-Fi basically. Uh, so that's Wi-Fi to CPU time sync. Um, so all these pads, if they're if they're disconnected, you know the the top layer is the main board. So if the bottom layer cannot talk to the top layer, then you're gonna have the issues we saw earlier. Earlier. So um, so yeah, and then. One way I kind of test for this, I'm not because sometimes it's hard to tell if there's a gap. So I just kind of, I can see a bend like that, and that's basically the issue here is that when the phone drops, you know, it gets bent, it bends like that, and it breaks. It actually breaks the the bottom board, so this gap shouldn't be here. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get this uh, bottom boards. Swap part party, crap. Bottom board party started. So what I like to do is this is my uh, customer phone board. So I'm gonna name it um, the customer initial, which is R R R. All right, I'm gonna name, put his his initials on every piece just because I don't want to mix them up. So RR, I mean, it didn't probably wipe away, but at least I have it somewhere saved, recorded, right? And then we know it's the one with the gap right here. Okay, so this is a customer board. Then uh, I have some donor boards here that we're gonna use the bottom boards from. So how do we know what kind of bottom board we can use? Uh, first, we start off by identifying which um, there's two versions of the iPhone 10. There's uh, Qualcomm and then there's the Intel. So one neat trick that um, I learned from Aaron Harrington is that the one model, so like I don't remember which is which. Once we split it, we'll see. Actually, let me use this other one as a reference. Uh, all right, so this one, you can see this this chip right here is like long ways up and down which is the same thing we have here long ways up and down so that means this is a intel so the intel is a rectangular uh, baseband whereas qualcomm is a square one i don't think i have yeah i don't have an example here but i do have this example so qualcomm you can see the this chip is left and right on Intel, it's up and down. So we're dealing with a, this is my customer's board, RR, right? So um, up and down is Intel. So I gotta get an Intel board, bottom board to do the, the job. And so I got some donor boards here. So these are all Intel, you can see uh, up and down up and down this chip right here so first um, let's let's move over to let's go ahead and, so one of the steps I gotta do is um, unbind Wi-Fi so let's go ahead and move to this bench first um, just because I want to get this out of the way before I forget um, let me turn the camera a little bit All right, so what we're gonna do is reassemble it real quick. We're gonna use uh, the iRepair P10 uh, DFU box NAND programmer thing. So using purple mode, we're gonna um, unlock the Wi-Fi through the NAND. So first we gotta reassemble this.
so this video is going to be step by step. I'm, I'm going to explain as much as I can about everything. So it's going to be a long video. All right. So this is the eye repair P10. You can get it from a lot of places. I think I have this actually linked on my description of this video. Um, uh, it's a great tool for uh, anyone who does Wi-Fi replacements um, and iCloud unlocks, but that's a little different topic that I will not talk about here. Uh, but Wi-Fi unlocks, this is basically what you got to do. You plug this in and then um, let me put the laptop in view. So the reason why, why I got to use the laptop is because for some reason my desktop does not uh, recognize this thing so I don't know why but whatever I got plenty of laptops here so all right so trick here is you got to put the phone in DFU mode so let me close this out let me open All right, let me see if you guys can see. So this, I'm running iRepair P10 software version 3.6, which supports almost every device um, imaginable. So basically 6S to iPhone 8 to iPhone 10. So I see someone is here from Mars and Kentucky. Um, all right, so this is how it's plugged in. So the iPhone with the little blue, uh, white and blue cable to the eye repair. So the bottom of the R is pointing to the phone uh, through an I a standard iPhone cable to the laptop. And then we got to put this in DFU mode. So every model or generation seems to have a slightly different uh, method for iPhone 10 you do click volume up down hold power for uh, 10 seconds and then so I didn't count so I'm just gonna guess press and hold volume down and power for five seconds and then let go of volume of power and keep holding volume let's see if this works Nope, didn't work. All right, so let me go ahead and do it again because I need to count out loud because that's the only way I've been able to, to do it. So let me put the volume up so you guys can hear. This is really annoying. All right, up, down, power. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Volume down, one, two, three, four, five, let go of power, and it should uh, kick into DFU mode. Nope. Nope, all right, let's do it again. Up, down, power, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. volume down, one, two, three, four, five. Let go of power. One, two, three, four, five. You can see my face in the screen. <laughs> uh, let me see. Let me make sure all the cables are plugged in, maybe. Plus, this has a aftermarket charging port, which I've seen uh, weird stuff happen. So let me try again. So up, down, power. Now this time I'm, I'm gonna press volume down as soon as the screen shuts off. Volume down. Three, four, five. Let go power. And let's see if this works. I've noticed the timing is different um, if the device is on the home screen or if it's on recovery mode. Um, all right, <laughs> sometimes I go through this like, like 10 times. All right, up, down, power. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. And then press.
pray that it works. It didn't. Could be the housing. Let me see. Up, down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Yeah, I gotta slow down. All right, let me count slower. It's like so annoying because you gotta be like perfect sometimes. All right, up, down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Nope. Oh, even booted up. All right, let's do this. Up, down, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 10, 1,000, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. It could be the housing. Yeah, nope. Let me, let me see, do I have an iPhone, another iPhone 10 here? Give me one second. No. Uh, I knew I was gonna run into something weird like this. Oh, here's one. All right, I'm gonna steal a housing from another customer, and then because this this is something something weird's happening because I'm seeing the Apple logo flash for one second and turn back off, um, and then just for your guys' reference, I'm doing this first just because after I after this I won't be able to do the Wi-Fi unbind until I'm fully done. And then I can't really test Wi-Fi until it's fully um, soldered and everything, and you know, just makes it a pain. All right, so I got another house in here from a different customer, which appears to be OEM. This other one appears to be a aftermarket. Uh, so just to rule that out. Like I said, it's going to be a long video, and this is, you know, kind of what I deal with. Um, with these repairs, oops, someone dropped it. So sometimes people ask, like, I, I'm charging, I charge $200 for bottom board swap for repair shops, and $250 for end users. People are like, ask me, like, oh, can you give me a better price? I'm like, nope, this is a very time-consuming repair, and I'm not... And it's not always successful. I could, at the end of this video, it's like, oh, you know, something's not working for whatever reason. And then, you know, um, you get, you waste a lot of time. So I gotta make up for all that. All right, cool. Let me uh, try again. Yo, I see Edgar's in here. What's up, man? All right. All right, it's in uh, recovery mode, so up, down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five. And there we go. See, first try on the new housing. So if you can see here, it's gonna be hard to see in that corner. Once it focuses, DFU, well, 
so this is Chinese software. They put a DFU model, but it's actually DFU mode. So once you get in DFU mode, what you do is you click a button, and you click. There it goes, and then it does start doing its magic, which is a uh, purple mode. So you'll see here on the screen. Um, Some weird colored um, so basically this is they're using a, a jailbreak getting into the deep into the system somehow doing some you know some magic to get it into purple mode there you go we got a there's a turquoise on the camera it looks turquoise but for me it looks green uh, all right so this is purple mode so what we do here is um, there's a button that says unlock Wi-Fi so you click that I click it a bunch of times and then you'll see it says untie Wi-Fi okay so we can be sure it is unlocked so now we can replace Wi-Fi freely without uh, any issues and then once uh, once you do that you have to click Sorry, this is kind of kind of ghetto, but you gotta click exit recovery, and now the phone has uh, restarted. So, um, that's a fun learner, learning experience that a bad aftermarket housing can make it difficult to uh, get into DFU mode. So keep that in mind if you're having trouble. So let me move the laptop out of the way, move all this stuff out of the way. All right, so I got that out of the way as well. Where is my spudger? Cool, we got 12 viewers. Who's gonna stay till the end? I'm telling you, this is gonna be at least two hours. And I'm in Pacific time, so it's 8.30 p.m. Uh, what what time zone? What time is it uh, where you guys are? Cause it's gonna get late. But it's Friday night. You know, good time to do a good day for a bottom board swap. All right, so let's go back uh, over here. Ten thirty in Texas. Ooh. All right, so first step, let's let's take apart this board just to um, make sure there's no broken pads. Because there's a lot of broken pads, it might just be um, not worth the repair. All right, so I'm using a mechanic. Uh, I don't know what this is called. Basically, a, a board heater. Let me change the camera. So this will, uh, I need to rotate the camera. So this is basically going to heat up. Um, well, you know what, does it that warm up? Let me test my donor boards uh, meanwhile. So let's go back to this, this camera. All right, so I got three donor boards. I confirmed their Intel based on that little, uh, the little chip. So what I like to do is get get me charging ports. This is OEM premium from uh, Mobile Centrix. All right, so let's uh, test one at a time to get find us a working um, bottom board. And I'll show you what to check for each one. So all we need is a port, a battery, and a screen and a charger. So let me move. So I'm gonna test my known good screen, my known good battery, and uh, my charging port, and plug it into charge, because that will prompt it to boot. Um, also, it's very important to always have a known good battery, uh, just because I actually have these two other batteries that were my known good, 
and they failed me uh, just the other day. Um, I was having charging issues and I was wondering like why wasn't it working? Turns out my battery had gone bad. All right, so here, let's uh, take a look. So the phone turns on, uh, we got touch and then we want, you know what, let's do this. Let's plug into 3U tools. So let me show you guys. Let's go here. So meanwhile, I'm doing this. Um, we have the board heater here on this other side, um, heating up the sandwich. Why didn't it connect? By the way, these are iCloud lock boards. So they're basic parts boards. Um, why isn't it connecting? Oh, here it goes. All right, uh, so if you guys, that's strange. I think I'm stretching out the cable. All right, so, or maybe it disconnected. Hmm. Let me reopen it. Yeah, so this is uh, some fun stuff, right? Very exciting. I wonder, I keep hearing the computer disconnect and reconnect. Does it have like five cameras?